Amazing Grace, here on Mango Mornings. Our time is 8.01 in the morning, friends. You are still tuned in to Mango Mornings. And I clear me some wrong throat. I didn't do it. For the next segment because this is very important. But uh, before that, ito asang bawasan ito ang mga mensahe. Okay, nagtipon ok na gini. Halag yun. By the way, you're still with Pastor JB, DJ G, and DJ Fernie. Mm. And we are episode number 182 for today, Refreshing Lesson. Yan. And Ginny, ah sorry, Jin B. Ni Blas? Bias. Blas. Blas. Okay, na bias. Lain, lain. God bless. <laughs> God bless. Okay, good morning, Mango Radio. Lizelle Bendulo, blessed morning to all of you po. I would like to greet my one and only son, Luke Melcon Bendulo, on his 14th birthday. Uy, wow. happy, happy birthday. birthday. Double seven. Nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, Naomi Kayama. Doc Naomi. Marinate. An amazing and wonderful morning. It's good to see you guys and to your pretty guest, my Iha. Mimi Kines. Modeling is important in our Christian walk. However, it's hard but only by God's grace. Mm-hmm. Oh, we can do it. Amen. Well, Roush, a blessed morning to all. Praise God today. And amen. Anna Asha. Uh, hi to your guest, Mimi. See you around this coming October 28th sa SMX. Happy that I got my ticket. Mm-hmm. Ay, muranig ka tong sakuan kay uh, Miriam. Ah, yes. Yeah, Miriam Kembao. Yung mga women mm-hmm. power. Mga women, yes. Yeah. So, so, wow. <laughs> so, may tabo na siya. Ayun. And uh, also, uh, Maricho Habuchi. Good morning, Mango Radio. And also to Javin Martinez. A blessed morning to everyone listening from Zamboanga City. And Anna Darna Margate, good morning to you. Kanang with say tao gana kanang heart eyes emoji. Emoji ayun. Mm-hmm. And of course, <laughs> si Mimi nag-message. Hello my ninang Doc Naomi, didn't see your message sa live kanina. Oh, binanggit na yun. So, see you daw wala raw sabi ni Mimi. Ayun. So, thank you sa mga messages ninyo. No, do keep them coming because we have opportunity to read them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Meron din si Baby Rizzy. Kanina pa ito, no? Um, um, rainy morning daw sa kanila. Eating breakfast while on their way to school. Mm-hmm. Have a enjoyable class for today. And mm-hmm. uh, shout out to Maninay Isabel listening Hi. right now sa US. No? Hi, Maninay. Enjoy her trip. The California over safe. there, huh? Oh, po. Yon. All right, so keep your messages coming. We still have time, but uh, let's pause for now mm. and uh, spend time sa pag-discuss the Word of God. Mm-hmm. Assigned text for today is Proverbs 11.25, mm-hmm. talking about teachers being refreshed by teaching. Yes, mm-hmm. if you're a true teacher, especially a teacher of the Word of God, you feel refreshed every time you teach the Word of God. And it's uh, beneficial for um, those who handle the Word of God. Uh, God, no? And to further expound that uh, topic, uh, we have Pastor Marvin Angeles, Assistant Pastor of Davao Bible Community Church, para i share sa ato ah, ang iyahang reflections about this passage. Pastor, good morning and welcome back. Good morning, Mango. Uh, uh, morning sa ato ang tanan. Yes. Uh, yeah. Thank you for this great privilege again where yeah. we can uh, join you and uh, have uh, this discussion. Mm-hmm. So, our uh, chosen Uh, verse today is taken from Proverbs 11.25 It mm-hmm. says, The generous man will be prosperous and he who waters uh, and he who waters will himself be watered. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, ang question sa atin is, how is a teacher refreshed by teaching? Mm-hmm. Okay? God wants His people to be like Him and that requires that we take a serious look at what it means to be generous. Okay? Mm-hmm. Kasi ang ang if we carefully look at this verse, parang dalawang part yung uh, pinresent dito ng writer. First is, the generous man will be prosperous. Yun yung unang statement niya. Uh. Second is, and he who waters will himself be watered. Mm-hmm. So let us look at first itong uh, the area of uh, generosity. Because a generous man will be prosperous. Mm. The Lord himself is extremely generous. Okay? towards mankind. Mm-hmm. We know that generosity comes from the heart. Mm-hmm. So we can have so how can we have a generous heart? So uh, the the writer of this uh, proverbs is uh, somehow speaking to us and telling to us for us to be generous kailangan na uh, there is a uh, there has to be transformation muna sa ating mga puso. Mm. Especially sa atin na uh, we are tasked by God to be teachers of his word. Mm. Kailangan na uh, 
every time we teach the word of God is talagang galing sa ating uh, pure na mga puso. Mm-hmm. Walang ibang motives ang ating mga puso mm-hmm. sa pagtuturo ng word of God. Okay? Mm-hmm. Or we, we do not use the word of God for our own gain or yes. for our own agenda and purposes. Para magpatama. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ay, ganda. <laughs> Because sometimes it's very tempting to do that. <laughs> so, paano ba tayo magkaroon ng generous heart? Mm-hmm. And uh, so as teachers, we will be Uh, prosperous kasi yun yung promise ni God eh. mm. if we will be generous we will be prosperous mm. Mm. in Psalm 51 verse 10 it says create in me a clean heart O mm. God mm. and put a new right spirit within me mm. so kailangan talaga na uh, we will need the help of God we need the help of the Holy Spirit to transform our hearts na bigyan tayo ng mga puso bigyan tayo ng puso ng Panginoon na generous When it, hindi lang sa pagtuturo but generosity in all its aspect okay na magkaroon tayo ng puso na generous so that every time we teach the word of God generous yung pagkaturo natin mm-hmm. kung sa term pa natin wala na to gibarabara lang pag tudlo ang pulong sa ginoo ba mm, yes. wala na to gi for the sake lang na ma-deliver lang nato atong mm-hmm. schedule nat for that day uh, sometimes we we reason out na Ah, we just do our part and let God do the rest. Let do His part. Si Lord na bahala ato. Mm. But we are also accountable to God as teachers of His Word. Mm-hmm. And how we communicated His Word. Mm-hmm. How how we presented His Word mm-hmm. sa sa mga tao. So, and we can see that the opposite of uh, generosity is selfishness. Mm-hmm. Okay? Sometimes. Uh, gusto nato kita lang permi ang uh, tudluan mm. kita lang permi ang iwater kita lang permi ang itake care mm. but that is not how the kingdom of God works mm. as believers especially sa mga as pastors or uh, disciples mm. we are called by God to really give to give ourselves to give our time mm. and uh, everything na nasa to ay hatag nato diha sa Ginoo mm. kay ang returns na ato ang gina-expect Uh, si God lang man ang mahatag anak. Yes. Mm-hmm. Sa hay, we feel ourselves na marag na, na dry na ko. Mm-hmm. Na, 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 nahubas na ko sa sige na ko teach the word of God. Mm-hmm. And uh, asa man kumukuha o baga marag refreshment sa akong mm-hmm. kaugalingon mm-hmm. na stress na kaayo ko. Mm-hmm. I was reminded by God sa ato ang IDMC na gi uh, last time mm-hmm. with Pastor Edmund Chan. He said, we need to have that uh, Uh, steadiness diha mm. sa Ginoo. Mm. We need to have a heart na dependent gid kaayo sa Ginoo. Mm. Uh-huh. Okay? Kanang gina-desire nato na refreshment, acknowledgement, especially karon kay mm. pastor's, pastor's appreciation, appreciation. month. Mm-hmm. Kana we need to look uh, look that sa Ginoo lang yun. si God ang muhatag ana sa ato. Mm. Okay? Because sometimes we expect that na makuha nato na from people, from mm. our members. Mm. Pero dili man nila mahatag yun usahay. Mm. Okay? And kita as, as the teachers, we are called by God to pour out our life, mm. our everything. Yeah, sa mm. So si God lang yun ang mahatag anak sa tua. Mm. Now kung dili man nato na makuha sa tao, we need to have that uh, steadfastness niya sa gino. Mm. That God will do His part to encourage us, mm. to water us, to, ref- to refresh us mm. as His teachers. Amen. God says that the generous man will be prosperous. Mm. The literal Hebrew here says the soul of blessing will be made fat. Mm. Okay? So, may mo ng generous. Si God daw ang mupatambok sa ato ang uh, soul, sa atong mga kalag. <laughs> <laughs> Pero literally, ang mga pastor sa'yo, nanambok yun ang mahayo. <laughs> Panalangin. <laughs> Mga usahay mo, mo, lailo ko sa ako ang mga visitation na ano na role birthday visit sa mga members eh. kada balay mo at tuan pakaunon man ka nya pa ilon ba yung soft drinks usa pwede ka dili no na oh layo ray sa katuig mamatay yung pastor <laughs> the joke <laughs> the idea here is that a person wants to bless others Mm-mm. this man or woman is generous in the very core of their being mm. their normal response is is to be kind and generous to others. Uh-huh. God tells us that this kind of person will be prosperous. Mm-hmm. Okay? So the second part is this. Um, 
how can we display generosity in teaching God's word? So we are called by God to be generous as teachers of His word. Mm. So how can we do that? Kanina na na tunan nato na we need to have a transformed heart, mm. a generous heart para mabuhat nato na. So in in the practical sense, as pastors, as teachers, how do we do that? Na maging generous to sa pagtudlo sa pulong sa gino. Mm. In Second Corinthians four two it says, instead. We have renounced secret and shameful ways. Mm. We do not practice deceit, nor we do, nor do we distort the word of God. Mm. On the contrary, by open proclamation of the truth, we commend ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. Mm. Okay? We are being generous sa pagtudlo sa pulong sa ginoo if we are truthful to the word of God mm. sa pagcommunicate ani. Mm. Eh, again, itong i-mention na ito ganina, wala tayo laing agenda in teaching the Word of God. We are just here to do what God wants us to do. Mm. Kung ma-offend man ang tao, let them be offended by the Word of God. Mm. Dili sa ito ah. Okay? Mm. Pero there, are, there is this uh, tendency gito sa akin na malain nga po ng tao sa ito ah. Mm. Bisan gi-communicate lang nato ang Word sa ginoo. Mm. Sige lang maging steadfast lang tadi sa gino di lang ta mahadlok ana mm. because kung na-offend man sila goes to show that the Holy Spirit is working in their life mm. okay na, na minister gin sila sa pulong sa gino therefore ikaw as a teacher kung na-offend man ang tao sa mga pagtudlo ni mo sa pulong sa gino uh, means to say you are doing right Tama, kay ang ginoo naglihok man po sa kinabuhi ana sa kasing-kasing ana na tao. Na kung malain man siya, nalain siya really sa ginoo sa word of God dili directly sa imuha. Mm. Okay? So siya na manubag ana sa ginoo and siya na model ana mm. si God na po ang mo uh, mo process ana sa iyahang kasing-kasing. Mm. Dili lang tama hadlok mm. sa mga ana na situations uh, as a teacher of the of God's word. Mm. The second aspect of this proverb says that the one who waters others will himself be watered. Mm. This is an illusion to the agricultural world. Marag ang picture ani, marag sa agricultural world ba? Okay. When someone waters a plant, he is providing much needed moisture, moisture to the plant for its health and welfare. Mm. The picture here is not a, not of a plant being watered, but of a person being blessed. Huh. When we are generous with our time and our ministry to others, we are helping them grow spiritually. Mm. When we do this, God lets us know that we ourselves will be aided in our spiritual growth. Mm. Abi nato, ang mga members lang nato ang nag-grow every time we teach the Word of God mm. or we communicate the Word of God to them. Kita po ng mga pastors, nag-grow po da. Mm. Ako, as, uh, in my experience as a pastor, na yung mga material sa sahi sa discipleship na ginatudlo na to sa ato ang mga disciples. Okay? Though naagian na nato na siya ng mga materials in the past, pero kung imuha siyang i-review o balik, kay itudlo ni mo siya, naka yung mga fresh perspective na makuha gikan mm-hmm. sa ginoo. Uy, mm-hmm. wala lagi na ako ni na, na sabta, no? wala lagi na ako ni na capture before katong gistadihan ako ni siya or gitudlo na ako ni siya. Mm-hmm. Or i- i-remind sa ginoo ang imuha mga experiences in the past. And you can say to your disciples na kanin gisulti diri sa word of God is really true. Mm-hmm. Na experience ginako ni sa akong kinabuhi. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, abini mo ikaw ang kapoy kaayo kay nagtudlo ka sa pulong sa Ginoo for how many hours but at the end of the day ikaw ang refresh kayo mm. ikaw ang encourage kayo mm. usay mangutan na ka nakay natunan niya ako ang mga mga students pagtudlo na ako sa word of god mm. kaya ako excited man kayo ko mm. encourage man kayo ko pero in reality diri nato makita that as we as we teach the word of god to others kita day ang number one na na-minister. Mm. Kita day ang yeah. number one na na-refresh ba o na-encourage. Mm. Mm. na usahay, mag, mag-preach ko sa palpit. Iyon ko, kaning message na ako ang i-share sa inyo ha, karon ako ang number one na na-minister. Ani. Mm. <laughs> ako ang una na naigo ani nga message na ako ang i-share sa inyo ha, karon mm. <clears throat> The way this works is truly amazing because so often our fallen nature wants everyone to water us mm. rather than pouring ourselves for others. 
at the risk of being prideful. Mm. Okay? Tungod po sa hay sa kaning natay tendency sa hay na sa sige na natong tudlo sa pulong sa Ginoo. Maging prideful po ta. Mm. Yeah, na maging critical na ta towards sa uh, uban na uh, mga tao ba. Mm. Na dili kayo knowledgeable about the word of God. Mm. Kani pong pagtudlo nato sa pulong sa Ginoo. Part sa refreshment ng ginahimo ni Lord sa ato ah, is we ginakip ta ni God na humble as teachers of God mm. na Yes, dagan na tag nahibalan sa pulong sa Ginoo. Kabalo na ta how to interpret ang mga passages diha sa Bible. Pero ginatudluan nyo ta ni God na maging humble. Mm. Okay? Amen. As teachers of God's word, we must be generous in the area of teaching. Give your best and let God do the rest. Amen. Okay? Before ta mo ingon na let God do the rest. Ihatag sa ang mo ang best. Mm-hmm. Ayaw ing nana, barabara lang eh. Let God do the rest. Mm-hmm. Do your best mm-hmm. and let God do the rest. Mm-hmm. Go, do something that will bless others. Mm-hmm. Choose to be generous. To go out and water someone whose spiritual life is dry and barren. Go out and bless someone else who could never repay you for what you are about to do. Mm-hmm. When you do this, You will soon learn the truth of this passage. You will be prosperous spiritually and you will find yourself being water by God himself for your generosity and by your willingness to adapt his character as your own. Mm. Amen. God bless. Amen. 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 Wow, that was a very beautiful exposition, Pastor. Mm. And uh, that reflects a lot of realities no sa mm. ang kinabuhi, especially mga pastors. Um, we have uh, seen, and you made it clear, na mm. teaching others, preaching the Word of God should be a refreshing experience mm. for us. Mm. Primarily, no? uh, it's a fulfilling and rewarding experience. Yes. Dapat. But, uh, dili ikalimod na, there are times really na ang ato ang physical body ba, no? mm. will prevent us from fully experience, uh, experiencing that uh, joy mm. and uh, refreshment. Supposedly, nga ito ang ma-feel when we preach the Word of God. Um, mm. Because uh, mga tao po ng pastors, no, na mm. mga problema, mm. uh, emotional struggles sometimes yeah. that we have to go through while uh, still maintaining the ministry of mm. uh, preaching the Word. You personally, Pastor, how do you deal with those situations na, kanang, na walay gana ang mm. pag-study sa Word of God or ikanang bisig kung saan mo hangyo sa ginoo, i-fine-tune mo ang kasing-kasing. But it's just... Uh, ang problema is just overwhelming. Mm. Uh, dili ni mo maano jud ma dali dali og tudlo imong kasing-kasing to <laughs> be on that mood. Mm. Uh, there are times na moabot gyud na sa ato ano but mm. in my personal experience I really go to God in prayer mm. and meditation. Hilig kay ko maghinuktok mong God Pastor JB. Mm. <laughs> Sahay ma- mabalaka na, na akong asawa sa ako. Ang sana man ako nga sabi sige na maghinuktok. <laughs> uh, but uh, during those times na nagahinuktok ko, I am talking to myself mm. and always ko gina-lead ni Lord kung maabot ko ana na time. Mm. Sa katong Psalms nagisulti ni King David ba? Ningon siya. Why are you so downcast, O my soul? Mm. Oh, put your hope in God. Mm. Mm. Mo na ang gina-remind ni Lord sa ako ana. Dapat ang magdik- dili ang magdictate sa ato is our emotions or mm. ato ang mood. Mm. But it's our mind. Mm. Kailangan magyug ko ma ano ani, ma stress ani. Mm. Kailangan magyug ko ma ma overwhelm mm. ani na mga situations mm. or pwede na ko pilion ang ako ang response or character mm. in facing the situation sa akong kinabuhi. Mm. Considering na na ako responsibility that I need to deliver. Mm. Okay? That's where Discipline comes in sa ato apod ng mga pastors na mm. every time we we preach the word of God, yung mga mangyan natong ginabuhat every Sunday, mm. dili gid ta musokom anang uh, Saturday night fever na na sistema usahay na Saturday night nya ugma na ka mag-preach, diha pa ka magbanat og prepare sa imong mga sermon. God bless. <laughs> <laughs> we, you really need to to make time na yes. discipline gid nimo mm. within the week imo gyud nang himuon og tarong mm. ang imo ang sermon. Mm. Kay dili pwede na mag dinalian o barabara lagi ang atong pagtudlo sa pulong sa Ginoo. Mm. Okay. Kay at the end of the day, ma- makonsensya ka ba oh. sa Ginoo no? yung ka nahatag ka na ako akong best sa Ginoo. Mm. Okay? So, muna, I just uh, need to remind myself na 
dili ta dapat mag- maging downcast dili mm-hmm. ta dapat madaog ani na mga situation na atong mm-hmm. ginatubang mm-hmm. but we need to rise up sa mga circumstances na atong ginatubang mm-hmm. thank you pastor mm-hmm. ang katong atong giapilan nga meeting ba katong mm-hmm. with uh, pastor Edmund Chan no i was really eh, kwamba kaning well refreshed mm-hmm. <laughs> when he mentioned that um, na siya kanang na meet nga preacher mm-hmm. nga Australian mm-hmm. nga turns out di ay nga ang iyahang kanang upline in a sense no kanang nag minister sa iyang pastor pod was actually a disciple of Pastor Edmund mm-hmm. and that preacher was already fired up no? and then he quite he ministers to a, a big church as well no mm-hmm. so ana ko ba nga ikaw nga kanang ko ikaw pastor ka and then ang imong ministry is not just to preach but also to teach mm. okay and uh katong sa mga downlines nimo in a sense okay because pastors also have their own downlines mm. diba yeah. ana ba mo mo nag networking ani <laughs> pero na bless siya it's because what she not expect na ang katuday ang na meet was actually ang ihang spiritual grandson mm. mm. diba And then that spiritual grandson was quite na kaning uh, very effective also in ministry mm. na na na, na, na ka build yun siya o kanang big church not building but kanang kumbaga daghan og mga tao ba nga mm. na na save no uh, because they've of course met Jesus through the ministry that he was involved in mm. and um siya bilang teacher he was also refreshed in a sense na kanya, like no what we're talking about is how is a teacher refreshed by teaching mm. so if you know nga ikaw as a preacher slash teacher you're making an impact on the lives mm. of others and not just on the first generation but nay uban nga up to the fourth and fifth generation kawa ka kay balo nga ang katuday mong na meet is actually kwa na apo na nimo sa kanang kumingking sa tiil mm. di na sa tuhod <laughs> lalum na kaayo it's because sa kuko bang, <laughs> sa kuko <laughs> din sila gid ba sa ingron <laughs> <laughs> okay kanay dai sila nga mga na meet nimo they are people who were also uh, kaning touched by people whom you've touched mm. Mm. pero dili lang na no can you imagine fourth generation mm. that's uh, that's very deep mm. so kung ikaw as a as a teacher and as a preacher maka maka bless mo maka refresh mo in a sense nga waka kay balo na uh, you're doing good mm. as you obey yeah. mm. diba because then people are impacted yeah. mm. and uh, it goes back when it's just like like kita no when we trace um, our own kumbaga ancestry mm. Okay, because somebody shared the gospel with us mm. and the person who shared with us was also shared the gospel with and goes back all the way no? mm. so ma-amaze ka nga it all goes back to Christ yeah. no? and um, he started with just 12 people mm. and now we're in the billions no? mm. and uh, kaya no, ma-refresh ang kumbaga <laughs> ang preacher yeah. teacher because ay nag-impact man di ako. Mm. So ikaw, Pastor, I know that you've been ministering for many, many years already mm. uh, in DBCC. Was there ever a time nga kumbaga ikaw na-meet ni mo ang imong mga spiritual great-grandchildren? <laughs> wala wala no, na ako siya na-meet, Brother uh. Burn, but uh, I was informed na Ana ang nahitabo. Uh. Because uh, while you are, you are telling that uh, ano, statement, Gi-remind sa ako ni Lord tong uh, isa ka uh, event man na nahitabo mm. during my time na uh, young people pa ko. Uh. Medyo dugay-dugay na gyud hinoon to. <laughs> na, uh, I was working as a church secretary during my during that time. Uh. So busy kay ko sa, sa church. Nga isa sa kauban ako na young people who is a student of Holy Cross uh. Uh, contacted me and said, "Kuya, pwede ka makahatag og time for Bible study. Kaya na ako'y friend na medyo troubled kay sa problematic siya. Gusto na ako na Bible study ni mo. Sa willing man po daw sa kuya. Ako, sige, sige. 
Pero sa ako ang mind na to. Sige lang kay para mapagbigyan ako sa mm. <laughs> atong akong friend. So, to cut the story short, na meet na ko to na babae. Nag Bible study me, I shared to her the salvation, the message of salvation. Then he said to me na, "Kuya, pray for me because I will be going back sa amo ang lugar." Mm. Muli uh-huh. nako. Ana siya. Okay, so nagpray ko sa iya ha. Then after a month, tingala ko na nag-message ako sa Messenger. Uh-huh. Sabi niya na, "Kuya, uh, Praise the Lord, pasalamat ko sa imo ha. Mga naman, kay pag uli niya sa ilahang lugar, he shared the gospel sa iyang family, mm. sa iyang mama, sa iyang parents, sa iyang mga igsuon. Then nakapangita siya og work dito. Okay? Nya katong dito sa workplace niya, she was able to gather ang iyang mga kaubanan sa work for uh. a Bible study group. Mm. Ah, nakapaspas ang iyang growth ba? Mm. Kuha. Wow, praise the Lord. Nakayon ko. Nangutana ko na yun sa Ginoo. Lord, natarong ba na ako to tudlo ang mga word at the time or <laughs> or tama ba nga akong motivation nato? Uh, mm-hmm. That's why I was reminded by God na our labor in the Lord is not in vain. Amen. Ana gyud. Mao na ang mao na every time I I quote that verse kanang our labor in the Lord is not in vain. Mao na na memory amo flashback sa ako ah. Mm. Kato na experience nako na, ko, na Di Bible study ni mga isa ka tao. And wala ka kabalo how God will work sa life anang tao hana. Yes. Uh-huh. That's why I I was able to learn na kung nagi opportunity that you can share the gospel mm-hmm. to a person. Do it. Mm. Do it with all your heart. I present mm. kinag tarong ang gospel sa iya ha. Mm. Kaya wala ka kabalo how God will use that person in a in a grabe na pamaagi ba. Yes. Nadagan ng mga tao ang madala sa kingdom of God. Mm-hmm. Tungod lang sa isa ka tao na gitagaan ni mo time to teach the word of God mm-hmm. and lead them to Christ. Mm-hmm. Amen. Yes, amen. On that note, Pastor, I just realized ba na you cannot mm-hmm. give really what you don't have. No. Yeah. That's true. And uh, in this kind of ministry, to refresh others is actually mm-hmm. to encourage others, to, mm-hmm. to counsel others mm-hmm. through the word of God. Mm-hmm. Now, this requires a a lot of uh, resources on your part that is mm. spiritual resources mm. now you really have to be uh, with god for a long time and puno uh, ka always mo na ang ginaingon ni david ba no na my cup overflows because uh, he is with the shepherd um he communes with the shepherd and uh, if we look at the life of Jesus Christ he is the living water yeah. na kanang source jud sa ato ang pag pagkakwansya ato ang mga mm. thirst no for our souls so if you yourself have been quenched ang imong thirst ba for mm. your spiritual longings because you have an intimate relationship with God that infinite supply of water living mm. water that is is naasa imo always available yeah. and that is why when you minister to others Um, you will not be exhausted, mm. but instead you are refreshed yeah. because you see their lives transform, mm. um, impacted by your life as mm. well. Na ikaw mismo na experience abundance sa blessings sa gino and refreshment sa gino, and mm-hmm. then you share that with others uh, through discipleship, through mentoring, through mm. counseling, and that should be something na um, kosog no a uh, formidable force that mm. is in your life for it to create a lasting impact mm. nga katong na share nimo will share another yeah. uh, to another person <coughs> and then uh, the ripple goes mm. on no ang ang iyahang effect so i think this should be the heart of every disciple maker or pastor yeah. or mm. preacher or the one who handles the word na every time we share the word of god we must have that joy we must mm. have that excitement na this is what i i found out in my intimate relationship with god in my mm. communion with god and that excitement is actually that force that will um ripple dito sa mga imuhang gipang sharean ana kasi you will share the same spirit you will share the same uh, excitement you will yeah. di- share the mm. same enthusiasm and it's contagious No? Yeah. So I can just imagine if a pastor is preaching the word of God out of compulsion lang or routine kay Sunday morning and then mm. kailangan na ay mawali sa simbahan mm. katugoy mo barabara lang no <laughs> that's sad and that should be something na uh, pinaka least nga mahitabo or pinaka last actually mm. nga mahitabo mm. sa isa ka uh, kinabuhi sa pastor mm. So on that note what's your encouragement pastor maybe to wrap up this discussion mm-hmm. sa mga pastor nga naa sang inana nga stage karon na 
ministry have become a routine. Ministry mm. have become something uh, robotic. Mm. And ginahimo na lang nila for the sake of doing it. Mm. Mm. And they've lost that joy, that yeah. enthusiasm in serving the Lord. We really need to find uh, the meaning of everything that we do. Mm. Mm. And until makita nato siya na kaning ato ang buluhaton in the, in the perspective na gitudlo sa ato sa Bible mm. mahulog kita diha sa rutinal na lang na ano ba mm. na mm. habit na mm. kaning atong ginabuhat balik-balik na lang mm. and muabot man gud sa ana na punto delikado na kaayo na sa mm. kay gamay na lang na ano sa enemy sa ato ah either ma discourage ta Mundang ta sa pag-serve sa ministry. Mm. And that has been happening sa ato yes. ang time. Tagan kayo mga pastors that are uh, quitting sa ilahang Burn calling out. sa ginoo. Mm. Tungod ana ba? Mm. So we really need to be careful. We really need to uh, okay, remind balik yun sa basic. Okay? Mm. Ang kanang importante yun kay kanang foundation na to as, as pastors, as teachers. Kinanglan is strengthen yun na ng atong foundation. Mm. Because um, lagi sa gitudlo sa sa pulong sa Ginoo kaning storms of life mm. real gyud na siya mm. it's a matter of time kung kanus alang na siya maabot mm. the, the bible doesn't say na dili na siya maabot mm. na time na di na siya maabot pero mm. moabot gyud na siya time lang atong ginahulat mm. pero kung kung solid ang ato ang foundation mm. we are uh, keeping at step with the holy spirit kanunay sa ato ang kinabuhi mm. as, as pastors And importante po kayo ni uh, time of rest yun to, as mga mm, pastors. Mm. Okay? Kaya kung wala magun tayo time of rest, kaning day off na to na ginatawag, oh. <laughs> we will spend our day diha lang yun sa ginoo and resting ourselves. Prone yun kayo ta sa burnout. Mm. Mm. Yes. Okay? And there are times na challenging kayo ang ministry. Mm. Nag-prepare ka, excited kayo ka to go sa imuhang uh, Uh, pagtudlo sa pulong sa ginoo and yet you find yourself ang imuhang mga uh, students o imuhang ginatudluan para man sila dili excited sa ato ang session karon mm-hmm. ma discourage pud ka asa no asa mm-hmm. teacher mm-hmm. mayong ka undangon oh, na lang siguro nako ni na group mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. maabot pud na usahay sa ato ah. mm-hmm. but again we remind ourselves sa kidang calling sa ginoo sa ato ah. yeah okay god is reminding us to really persevere Mm. We may not see the the fruits or the the results of our labor mm. karon dayon immediately it would take time mm. that's why god is also calling us to really persevere yes mm. to to press on mo mm. na ingon ni apostle paul sa to ah mm. kaysa sa tama na panahon mubunga ra gina sa mo resulta ra gina sa amen but again our labor in the lord is not in vain mo gina permi ang atong gunitan mm. as uh, teachers of the word amen Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Mm. Pastor, invite our listeners, no? Na mm. kaning basit di ay na sila sa area, na wala pa sila home church, mm. pasi di makahapit sila. <laughs> We would like to invite everyone to come and uh, visit our church, mm-hmm. uh, Davao Bible Community Church, located at Araulio, Tavera mm. Street, Barangay 9A, Davao City. Our worship services, Uh, every Sunday starts at uh, 10 in the morning mm. and we also have a afternoon service every Sunday at 2 in the afternoon. Mm. We also have our uh, midweek prayer meeting, prayer service every Wednesday 7 p.m. Mm. Kagabi okay. ito. Kagabi. Mm, tama. Mm-hmm. Wednesday may ito. Thursday mm. na ito. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor, it was uh, of course uh, a joy. No? It's still a joy to hear you share with us As um, you kind of, uh, talk to us about scripture, mm-hmm. and today we talked about, of course, being generous and at the same time being refreshed. You know, as a teacher and a preacher, it is uh, refreshing to know that ang imo mga students o katong mga members ni mo, uh, they have the opportunity also to refresh you. Mm-hmm. you. And uh, one of those things that can is, of course, to tell you. Of how their lives were impacted because of the ministry that you are involved in, mm-hmm. you. And um, I love this, no. Ang kaning meanings are refreshing. Nagikuan sa James King James version is to invigorate or to put strength again, no, to revive. Mm-hmm. Labi na sa mga nahuyang. If you do that with others, no. If the time na ikaw na pud ang maghuyang, ikaw na pud ang ilang encourage. Mm-hmm. 
ikaw na po ang ilahang tagaan og strength to continue and move on. Moment na siya. So we help each other because we journey in this together. Now as a teacher, you will be refreshed definitely by your students. No? If your students are learning, if your students are also teaching others, then you, you can say to yourself, I've done it. And uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, nice na nga ka nang balikan ngani kasi mong mga estudyante. And then mo na sila nga, sir, kaning dagang kong natunan sa imo ha before. And thank you so much for being my teacher. Hmm. Mana. <laughs> so, karo my experience ko naman na kanam ko yung mga estudyante <laughs> nga nagbalik. And then to also mention, no? So, kana, no? Um, the teacher can definitely be refreshed hmm. because of that. Because, uh, similar to what, uh, was shared earlier by Mimi, no? Na, we should follow Christ. And then, the ones that follow us, they're not following us, but they're following Christ through us mm-hmm. and in the lives that we live. Because remember, uh, people uh, can see us and people, we, we, be, might, we might be the only Bible that people can read. Mm-hmm. And we need to represent Christ as His ambassadors. Mm-hmm. If you are in that position today where you have the capacity to teach, don't refuse, but say to God, Lord, use me mightily and allow me to refresh others so that I may be refreshed. And remember, when you do that, your generosity will be rewarded. Mm-hmm. Amen? Amen. Amen. Anyway, friends, thank you so much for listening today. It's an amazing day. Make Jesus known every time you go out and tell others that He is the way, the truth, and the life. My name is Bernie. This is Z. And this is Pastor JB. And we will see you tomorrow for another dose of Mango, Mango Mornings. Mornings here on Mango Radio. We continue to communicate, communicate the love of God. God. Bye, Bye for now and God bless.